name's Sophia. Welcome to my school. Let's go check a look at La Fuente Academy. I'm Amy Heald, and I'm the principal of La Fuente. We had the wonderful uh, opportunity to start a new program for Burst Springs Charter School. The Springs vision is, uh, is about empowering parents and about empowering students to set their own goals in life and learning and also about making the community the classroom. So it's really one thing. Hola, Sofía, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, bienvenida a nuestro salón. La Fuente to me means a place where uh, everyone can learn. The students, the parents, and the teachers and our community. Um, it's a team effort to help the child learn. My name is Jessica Gerst. I'm the site facilitator here at La Fuente and Vista. I spend most of my time with our new families, getting them, I guess, to see a snapshot of what our school is like so that hopefully um, we can find out if we're the right fit for them because we have an awesome community here and we absolutely want to share it. We have uh, community nights every other month and community days every alternating month. Uh, but we also have on uh, Thursday afternoon, uh, we provide free Spanish and English classes for adults so that they can, as I said, get on board with this learning for their students. What I love about teaching uh, TK and kindergarten is children come in here wanting to know what school is all about. Our school hours at La Fuente are 8.15 to 2.15. We start out the day in Spanish and we cover language arts in Spanish, and then we start math in Spanish, and at about 11, we click, click, switch languages, and go into English. The rest of the day is in English until 2.15. So there's been so much research about the mind and how it works, and the exciting thing about being a part of a program like this is to see how children's brains are like sponges. Learning a language opens not only that, that language up to them, but it opens the world to them. It helps them connect in all areas, mathematics, music, and even in English, they learn how to speak better because of learning the second language. Some of the research that we have shows that the curve of learning of a student who is learning in two languages takes off around third or fourth grade, and they surpass in their academic achievement other students who have only one language. Los bomberos ayudan a apagar la lumbre. The firefighters help um, turn off the fire. This is Ms. Ramita. She's a teacher of first grade and second grade. Hi, Sophia. Thank you for coming and stopping by our classroom. How do you teach students to respect each other? We start uh, the year by uh, setting the rules, uh, how we can help each other, how do we form a class community, and we practice kind things that we can say to each other to help each other out and of course every time we hear somebody saying something nice we make a big deal out of it and we celebrate. Hi my name is Alex Thiel. Um, I love working here. Um, I love that students are learning to cross barriers in language and, and learning to get to know different cultures around them and uh, that's something too that I want my students to know that they have that they're able to make a difference in this world in different ways. How much do you care for for your students? I care very much about my students. Every single one of them is unique and I love, I've loved getting to know each and every one of them and they all have different talents and different skills and different abilities that makes them, that makes them special and I, I try and celebrate that as much as possible in the class. This is Alistair. He's in Great. Um, he, when have you started speaking Spanish, Alistair? Um, started speaking Spanish around when I was like five or six years old. Okay. So. What inspired you to speak Spanish? Or is um, it like from your culture? Like, I like to um, make secret messages. So I think doing this and then having like one of my friends knowing Spanish would be like a really good way, like if we were in a club, to know what we're saying when we're talking to each other. Like a secret code. 
Yeah, pretty much. A lot of my students are older now and they're starting to, you know, find their interests and really their identity. My name is Yvonne. I'm 11 years old. I'm in fifth grade. I really like Miss Teal because she's a good teacher and she also makes learning really easy. Miss Teal really listens to like the students that she learns with. So if we want to work on like the computer, on a few programs, or if we want paper and pencil or a workbook or something, she gives us like the materials to do that kind of learning style. She lets us choose what, how we want to learn. You know, whether they enjoy learning by being active or they enjoy learning by working quietly, I provide activities that encourage that for them. My name is Julian. I'm in seventh grade. And what's different about this school from my old school is I was homeschooled. So um, when I came here, I felt very welcome. I didn't speak any Spanish before. It was a little challenging at first, but my teachers made it really easy for me. Sometimes people think that children have to be under the age of seven. Some of the research says that that is the best time to learn a language, but it isn't too late. And that's why here at La Fuente, we not only try to encourage the children to learn to speak the second language, we encourage their parents to participate in that as well, because it really, really does open the world to you. Pues una pregunta que hacemos cuando las entrevistamos es, ¿por qué es divertido aprender español? Porque pensamos que aprender un idioma es, es importante que, pues en muchas maneras, es importante porque pues le ayuda con la, el trabajo, pero también lo más importante para enseñar a los niños es que es muy divertido. Es divertido viajar, es divertido comunicar, es divertido poder bailar y hablar y cantar en otros idiomas. Y por eso este es muy importante para nosotros con los que entrevistan y los maestros con nosotros. Mis momentos favoritos con los estudiantes son los momentos cuando um, están aprendiendo algo nuevo. Uh, si es en inglés o español, no le importa porque los niños cuando aprenden algo nuevo están tan emocionados y uh, la, la luz que prenda en sus ojos es, es me, yo, yo me siento muy emocionado también porque ellos um, están tan felices que, que aprendieron una nueva palabra o que pueden hacer algo nuevo en matemáticas o cualquier cosa, pero cuando ellos son muy emocionados es un momento en mi día fantástico. When a student leaves here, I want them to love learning and I want them to be empowered to learn. They are people to meet everywhere and they can take a trip to Moscow and they can learn there and they can go to Colombia and learn there. That they don't need to know the language of the people fully to be able to interact with them in a positive way. It's, it's that joy. And when you feel excited about the every day of your job or your experience at school, how can that not be a wonderful learning experience? I hope you guys had a fun, a really fun time with me looking around my school because I really did. Well, adios, goodbye.